This problem is really just testing our knowledge of how resonance works with a molecule. And in the case of resonance, is all we're doing is moving electrons around. The atoms are staying stationary and we're just sliding electrons from one position to another without affecting the order or the sequence of those atoms as they are bonded. Now the bond order might change and charges might move around, but the atoms are stationary. So if we're taking the, the situation with A, we want to find another molecule in that lineup that has the same sequence of a hydrogen, carbon, carbon, nitrogen to nitrogen to hydrogen linkage. That we can pick out. And then once we've done that, we can, we can deduce if that's a resonance structure. So in the case of J, is all that's happened is we slid some electrons over from the nitrogen to form a double bond to the adjacent nitrogen. And we just shove those electrons as a lone pair onto carbon. And this can happen. You can end up moving charge around. And that's really the driving force of resonance is you're kind of sharing the burden of that charge and bouncing it around through a series of atoms. And you're achieving that just by moving electron, electron pairs around. So this double-headed arrow indicates the flow of an electron pair. So we might go from a shared pair of electrons to a lone pair of electrons. And so this would be a resonance structure of A. Now, the other structure in this lineup that meets this criteria is somewhat disguised. So in the case of L, L meets this criteria is all that's happened is they've just flipped this molecule around. So we can flip it the other way. There's nothing wrong with that. But this meets the criteria of hydrogen to carbon followed by two nitrogens to another hydrogen. And so for that reason, L would also be a resonance structure. So is all I'm going to do is just flip it around so that it lines up with the other molecules. But there's nothing wrong with that. We can translate these structures. It doesn't matter if we flip it around. But I'm just going to tidy up this structure so that it lines up and confirms that, yes, in fact, this is the same connectivity in terms of going from hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, nitrogen to hydrogen. So all that's changing is the bond order, okay? So in this case, we've got a positive charge in our carbon and a negative charge on our, on our second nitrogen. And is, if we want to start off and show how did we get there from structure A, well, we can redraw structure A. And in this case, what we did was we pushed electrons onto that middle nitrogen by taking them away from this bonding pair. And then we've just pushed those bonding pair electrons as a lone pair on that nitrogen. Well, this eliminates that nitrogen having a formal charge of one now. Now it's one, two, three, four, five. It has no formal charge. And the carbon's in a bad situation because it's bearing a positive charge and it only has six valence electrons. But this, you know, this may not be a great resonance structure, but this definitely fits the criteria of being a resonance structure for A.